The Old Testament Book of Ecclesiastes, Chapter 10 A Little Foolishness Dead flies make a perfume's oil stink. So a little foolishness is weightier than wisdom and honor. A wise man's heart directs him towards the right, but the foolish man's heart directs him towards the left. Even when the fool walks along the road, his sense is lacking, and he demonstrates to everyone that he is a fool. If the ruler's temper rises against you, do not abandon your position, because composure allies great of offenses. There is an evil I have seen under the sun, like an error which goes forth from the ruler. Folly is set in many exalted places, while rich men sit in humble places. I have seen slaves riding on horses, and princes walking like slaves on the land. He who digs a pit may fall into it, and a serpent may bite him who breaks through a wall. He who quarry, quarry stones may be hurt by them, and he who splits logs may be endangered by them. If the axe is dull and he does not sharpen its edge, then he must exert more strength. Wisdom has the advantage of giving success. If the serpent bites before being charmed, there is no profit for the charmer. Words from the mouth of a wise man are gracious, while the lips of a fool consume him. The beginning of his talking is folly, and the end of it is wicked madness. Yet the fool multiplies words. No man knows what will happen, and who can tell him what will come after him? The toil of a fool is the toil of a fool so wearies him that he does not even know how to go to a city. Woe to you, O land, whose king is a lad, and whose princes feast in the morning. Blessed are you, O land, whose king is of nobility, and whose princes eat at the appropriate time, for strength and not for drunkenness. Through idolence the raptors sag, and through slackness the house leaks. Men prepare a meal for enjoyment, and wine makes life merry, and money is the answer to everything. Furthermore, in your bedchamber do not curse a king, and in your sleeping rooms do not curse a rich man, for a bird of the heavens will carry the sound, and the winged creature will make the matter known.